Hey there, um, today's video is about you and your planets and Pluto. So this is following on from my previous videos around my astrology journey. Um, I've been learning about this, well, over. I have learned about this, like astrology since I was like a kid, but I stopped learning and then I've kind of got back into it. So, and that kind of happens in life, doesn't it? Sometimes we start something and then it drifts off and then we come back. Um, just how it's meant to go I suppose so um, I'm going to talk to you about Pluto so again I've made some notes and I've picked out the things that I've learned or I'm learning it's hard sometimes to remember everything but I think the more I start to do things like people's birth charts um, and, and kind of I learn when I'm doing actual practical stuff so it's all going to hopefully it will it will embed in my brain um, and then I'll know it off the top of my head and I'll be able to kind of put it more in my own words so Pluto is the planet of awesome power. It's power that we um, is something that we find quite hard to understand. So whenever Pluto is in your horoscope, that area of your life will show change or transformation. Pluto's actions bring to light things hidden in the depths of your subconscious and it re releases dormant forces which cause your suppressed energies to erupt. It can it signifies death and rebirth. It's the planet of regeneration, um, of destruction and annihilation, and then transformation. That sounds quite like severe, doesn't it? But actually, it it just means I think like Pluto wipes the slate clean, and it also governs the beginnings and endings of things in our lives. So, yeah, annihilation seems quite drastic to me. Um, Pluto's influence influences the uncovering of secrets. Um, of the past to clear away for the future so it's kind of that whole yeah getting rid of stuff cleaning the slate um, starting again starting afresh um, it's strong negative power can cause people to be cruel sadistic or even lead a life of crime so all of the planets have a negative side as well Pluto represents the highs and lows of what we're capable of it's the ninth planet in the solar system it is actually tiny a tiny planet um, it has very little sunlight because it's quite a long way from the sun. So I find the um, astronomy sort of stuff really interesting as well. Not that I'm going to remember it all because it all goes into detail about how far miles away it is from the sun and different things like that, which, you know, is stats and can be quite overwhelming of information. But I think just having a basic understanding of all the planets and their characteristics is then going to really help to understand how those things influence our birth chart. So what or our horoscope of whenever we look at our horoscope as adults. But certainly if we're looking at our birth chart, we can see, OK, well, when I was born, um, you know, uh, Pluto was in Virgo or whatever. And we can see, you know. Uh, how that would influence us so I find all of that really interesting if not complex but hey gives me lots to learn so again if you've got any questions or um, you know some things that you think might be helpful for me on this learning journey then please do put them in the comments remember to like follow me if you want to get any more of my content um, I do all sorts of random topics so um, yeah that's it for today next time is um looking at astrology and the houses.